From the very beginning, I knew Kyle was gonna be my brother-in-law. Um, he kind of filled every single one of those boyfriend, you know, check mark boxes that I, I had been looking for for someone um, and I'd been looking for for my sister especially. One was that he was easy to hang with. He had amazing friends, friends that were loyal and, you know, just really close. And he was completely head over heels in love with my sister. I can't believe how lucky I am as a sister to have Lauren in my life. There's really nothing that can compare uh, to the love and the sisterhood um, and the unbelievable memories that we've shared throughout the years. Um, and so with that, I'd love to cheers my brother and my sister right now. Cheers. Kyle's a man of fine taste. When dealing with the facets of his life that he deems important or entertaining, he's not a man that would settle for anything but the best. It's these passions that you'll find Kyle putting his heart and soul into everything. That's why when I heard Kyle was actually in love with a girl, I knew she had to be something special because it's the most important person you could add into his family. And Lauren, you are the greatest passion in Kyle's life. Still, to this day, for me, one of the uh, saddest memories I can remember is having to say goodbye to the Brower family in the 11th grade. They were my, they were my second family. You know, they were that close to me, and it was really hard to say goodbye to them, knowing I'd have to finish growing up without my brother, essentially. He did tell me one thing. He said, even though I'll miss the shit out of you, you'll always be my brother. And now I am here, 11 years later, standing next to him as he's adding the most important person to his family. And that's why I always say the Brower's greatest strength is turning friends to family. So cheers. We have come rejoicing into the house of the Lord for this celebration. And now we stand with Miles and Lauren on the day when they intend to form a home of their own. So let us support them with our affection, with our friendship, and with our prayers. Child of Lord, have you come here to enter the marriage without authority, freely, and wholeheartedly? Are you prepared as you follow the path of marriage to love and honor each other for as long as you both shall live? May God, the eternal Father, keep you of one heart and love for one another, that the peace of Christ may dwell in you and abide always in your home. May you be blessed to your children, have solace to your friends, and enjoy true peace with everyone. Amen. This is the time that you get to seal the sacraments with a kiss. Let me introduce Lauren and Kyle, Mr. and Mrs. Brower.
Just get 